Welcome back to the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show right here in your hometown station, AM 1220, KHDS. And remember, our goal is always to guide you to personal and financial wealth. Well, I hope you're ready for the best half of the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show. The second half of the show, hope you liked your halftime show. And uh, every Saturday, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., we get to share with you great information. We've been doing it for seven and a half years now. That's right. They haven't kicked us off the show. That's why we have our private custom-built studio right here at Skyline Homes, now Finance of America. You're going to hear that a lot. Top 10 lender in the nation. We have basically almost every product in the world that you would ever need with the best advice. And that's what you really need. You forget that your home mortgage is the biggest asset and probably the biggest debt of your life. You better get great advice. Don't just choose an interest rate. It might not be the best option for you. So reach out to us. You can do that multiple ways. You can go to SantaCritaHomeLoan.com. That's SantaCritaHomeLoan.com. Or always reach out to Don and Gino at gmail.com. That's D O N A N D G I N O at gmail.com. Or you can always find us at DonandGino.com. So today we brought in a couple of experts to talk about one of the most exciting, I say, home lending products I have seen in the 31 years I've been in the business, especially for our aging community. That's when I'm aging too, so it's just what it is. But those of you who are 62 are trying to figure out potential ways to best retire. And there are strategies out there you might not have known in regard to utilizing the equity in your home. And I know a lot of you are afraid, oh, no, no, they take my home. I'm going to lose the equity in my home. None of the above. So I brought two experts in to help us with that. In fact, they're going to illustrate how this product works called a reverse mortgage. And there's multiple options on that as well as a proprietary product that Finance America has to help our clients with reverse mortgage strategies. So today, again, we have Joe Reiner, Director of Reverse Mortgages for Finance America, and Steve Resch, VP of Retirement Strategies. And Steve was nice enough to bring a, a great program that helps illustrate, because a lot of us want to see how this works and, and feel and touch it, basically, <laughs> and not just listen to it. But you're going to have to listen to it, but Steve's going to do as best as he can to illustrate it verbally, but we're also recording this. Again, you go to donandgino.com, we'll have these segments on, and then you can reach out to Dennis Kotzman, our local expert right here at Finance America, and you can reach out to Dennis Kotzman. Again, you go to santacredohomeloan.com or financeamerica.com or D. Kotzman, that's D-K-O-T-Z-M-A-N at financeamerica.com. Dennis is the man. He is a former financial advisor as well yes. that can explain these strategies. So, without further ado, you have a cool illustrator for us, right, Steve? <laughs> I do have the illustrator here, and, and I will say as well that Dennis does have access to this also. So what's nice about the illustrator is that a client can graphically see what a reverse mortgage can do over a up to a 30-year period of time. And it can be based on any. This is just a general, this just to give you an idea, general, but, but they can see based on their particular age, Correct. equity position, and options. Correct. Because it does to get determined. So remember, this is all just general this is just, education. Yes. So exactly. don't take this as financial nope. advice. <laughs> None whatsoever. Just, this is our disclaimer, right? Yes, <laughs> that's our disclaimer. No, this is just to give them an idea, a visual of what can happen. Love it, love it. And, um, the, what I wanted to show here today was a, a line of credit option, and the line of credit, as Joe mentioned earlier, is only available on the adjustable rate products. It's not available on the fixed rate products. As most are. Correct. Almost all equity loans that are Correct. That have flexibility in your draws and so forth are almost all adjustable rate markets. Exactly. Cases. Not all, exactly. but most are. So we're looking at, uh, in this example that I have here, uh, I just looked at a $600,000 home and a client who is 70 years old. They would be eligible, um, for simplicity's sake, for about $275,000. Now, as I'd mentioned before, they could take that as cash, tenure payments. We're looking at the line of credit option. So assuming that's all in a line of credit, these grow and compound over time. So if I, I have a graph here, and if I look out 15 years, I can see that that uh, 274000 is now worth $627,750. That's based on interest rates today. Again, these are adjustable rate products, so that could change, but based on today's rates, this is what a client could be looking at. So this provides them an opportunity to have a growing fund. Remember, they started out with only 274,000 available to them. It's now worth 670-some thousand 15 years later. It grows, uh, it's based on the uh, 
the growth rate is based on the cost of the funds. So whatever is being charged, uh, your interest rate, whatever is being charged on any outstanding loan balance, that's the same growth rate that's applied to the available line of credit. And that will not change. So regardless of what happens to the value of the property, uh, if you can see here, we've got a blue line. This is the value of the property, and this is growing and compounding. I used a 4% appreciation rate. And you here. could adjust that based on whatever they're comfortable that, with. I could adjust that, whatever yeah. they're comfortable with. historically, that's a good number, but they right. may go use two or three, and you can do that. And we can do that's that. That's what's cool about the Illustrator. Exactly. We can do that, and we can also show a flat line. And I know you don't have that here in California. Uh, you, you, your real estate goes up 20% a year out here. I'm from the <laughs> East Coast, and I've lost real or value in my property in the East Coast. So you can illustrate that though and show a flat line and it doesn't matter. It doesn't impact your line of credit growth once it's put in place from the beginning. So Steve, let, let's show them that. I think it's an important concept sure. to understand that in the event that there's market volatility, as there sometimes is, everything's cyclical, right? Don, yeah, yeah, agree? and that's what we want to talk about because yeah. so a lot of times people think, oh, you're just you know painting a rosy picture, but this is just real numbers. And that, yeah. and as I said, that's the reality. I lived uh, in the East Coast for 30 years and I lost money on my house in 30 years. Let me years. key one thing in before we go past this because sure. a lot of us in California got hit harder than sure. a lot of areas. You know, our values went in half. Right. The beautiful thing is a lot of you go, what if my equity goes down? The beautiful thing is, is even if your home, well, let's say my home value goes down. Right. So basically, even if the home value goes below the equity line, that's still your equity line, correct? Right. What and better way to protect your equity? Exactly. This, the line of credit, in my opinion, is kind of a hedge against yeah, declining real estate exactly. values and also um, rising interest rates because, again, this is tied to interest rates. So if rates go up, your line of credit is going to grow at an even faster oh, pace. Oh, that's yeah. right. And but, take it a step farther. Go ahead. Compared to other mortgage products, right? When the market changes, what typically happens to those lines of credits and things like a HELOC? Mm, they get frozen. They get frozen. <laughs> I can't access my funds. Well, for retirement, that's not going to go over too well. So as yeah, we designed, yeah, yeah, as we designed the product, a lot of people and, ran into that. A ton exactly. of people, and they saw yes. it in the mid two thousands, and that's why it's important this education we're giving because they need to see if you put a line of credit in place today, even if you're at the beginning of the spectrum and you're in your sixties, you need to think about what are you going to need in your eighties right in your late 70s what access to cash are you looking for and so Steve if we go back to the illustrator show them what happens if the market does go down or stayed stagnant right. how's that line of credit affected it's not affected at all and here I've changed the graph I put in a zero appreciation rate for the home value and that's the blue line as we can see that stays flat for this entire period but as you see that line of credit is still growing and compounding they still regardless have access to that. they still have access to that and regardless of what happens to this underlying value of the property so what i love is that hedge here here's some and if you're out there thinking ah uh, okay kids and you're thinking well that value of the home i don't want you know that was kind of my legacy down the road right. type thing here's something to think about is a you want your parents to always be able to survive and be living in their home you know they don't want to leave their home that's pretty much solid but the other thing is is it's also a hedge for you because down the road if they're aging and they have let's just say they have long-term care exactly where is that money coming from is right. that coming from your Exactly. A legacy you thought yes. you were going to get? Or is it coming out of the equity position that they now have access to right. to help you so you don't have to hurt you, damage your family Correct. cash flow position to help your family? Correct. It can be handled basically. What a great hedge against you don't know what. Let's exactly. put it that way. That's why it's planning. That's yes. why we're, we're here oh, talking, wait a talking yes. about planning, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. Strategic planning. It, so we've talked about a couple of things today. We talked about the government insured home equity conversion mortgage, and we talked about the proprietary product. Now, the proprietary product is for a little bit of a different range. In the government insured product, they have a cap. Okay, mm -hmm. we can only lend on six seventy nine, six fifty. So that means if your house appraises. For higher than that, we can only lend on that value. And that's pretty much most of the lenders out there that handle reverse mortgage, they're pretty much capped at that FHA limit. Absolutely. So let's look quickly at the proprietary product because there is no cap on, on that in terms of the home value, and we can go up to a much greater loan amount. Do you want to feel free to go ahead and go through this. We can go, we yeah, can go a little longer in let, this segment let, Let's go ahead to. and do uh, $2 million and put a balance of uh, 300000 Okay. So, Here's someone in this scenario that has, they're continuing to make a mortgage payment. They've called, they're looking for a payment reduction or to do something else and also have a strategy. Oops, and what we can show you here is by eliminating your payment, you're gonna have positive cash flow just in eliminating the payment. And now we're setting up that line of credit and preparing you for the future when you might need access to more liquidity. 
Let's see what that uh, looks like here, Steve. Okay. So in this case, uh, the 70-year-old with a $2 million property, they're eligible for about $828,000. Wow. We're going to pay off the $300,000 in liens. That <laughs> leaves them $528,000 left ridiculous. over. They could leave that in a line of credit if they wanted or take it out at the close, whatever they wanted to do. But uh, let's just assume that they're going to leave it in the line of credit. And we go out here at year 15, and now they've got $1,097,674 available in 15 wow. years. So let, let's bring that full circle here, and, and I think we're, uh, we're just about out of time. So you've got someone right now with a $2 million house that wants to either stop making payments or pick to pay option. Right. So we take care of that 300000 and then we started the line at about half a million, 500000 Correct. And you said over how many years? 15 years. It's 15 years. Double. So from a 70-year-old to now an 85-year-old, you've set yourself up to have access to a million dollars in liquidity. That's ridiculous. Without yeah. having to sell your home. Without exactly. having to sell your home. <laughs> not yeah. having to leave your home. Right. You're not trying to find a place for your parents. They don't have to downsize. Because right. a lot of times it's not even that. They just love their home. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And there, there's no catches. They follow the loan terms. They follow the simple rules that we described earlier. And it's just like any other mortgage product, except better, because you don't have a mandatory monthly mortgage. Uh, great stuff right. from uh, Joe Reiner, who is our director of Verse Mortgage for Finance America, and Steve Resch, VP of Retirement Strategies for Finance America. Thank you, guys. This is great stuff. I know we have one more segment. Okay. We're going to bring in Dennis Kotzman, our local expert, who is just phenomenal at guiding you through this potential. Potential. He just runs the numbers. Nobody does it better than Dennis because right. he's all about the numbers and making sure it's right for you. Yes. So don't go away. One more great segment that could change your life or that of your parents or grandparents. Don't Terrific. go away.